Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. And today's video is going to be the most awaited video in the channel and that is going to be Liliana's tutorial and complete guide video. So if you guys didn't know Liliana is currently my most favorite hero in Clash of Titans and uh, she is according to me the best hero, the most balanced hero in the game. Uh, she is an assassin, she can be a mage, she can take towers which makes her like a marksman. She has everything, she has the perfect kit and she is the number one mage, not just the number one mage, the number one hero in my opinion. So if you guys don't know how to play her, watch this video fully, I will explain every single thing that I know about Liliana and that will make you from being a beginner to a pro in Liliana. And uh, Liliana is one of the best heroes for solo carry because she can one shot minion waves and uh, yeah she is very versatile she can take towers she can play as an assassin she can play as a mage so yeah let's just, uh, let's just uh, jump right into the tutorial guys so like always let's just uh, talk about her passive first so her passive is fox form and uh, Liliana has two forms uh, most of you probably already know that it's human form and the fox form so once she gets to level 4 she can access the fox form with her third ability so now she's in the human form and yeah so this is the fox form guys so in the fox form you can see that she has different set of abilities and if you use her uh, ultimate again she'll turn back to human form and these are two other abilities in her human form so Liliana basically has eight abilities so I'll explain all of them uh, next so first let's talk about her passive so Liliana's passive is fox form and uh, in human form she will have ranged auto attacks so she can attack from a distance and when she enters the fox form she gains like uh, I'm not sure of the numbers yeah she gains 20 armor and 20 magic defense which is not that much but as you level up for each level she gets 5 more magic defense and armor so if you are at level 15 you will have a total of 95 armor and magic defense whenever you enter into the fox form which is quite significant and, uh, rather than having no armor or magic defense at all having free armor and magic defense from your passive will really enhance her survivability and help her perform better as an assassin so when she is in the human form her auto attacks are ranged and they deal physical damage see we are dealing 140 physical damage for 10 for each of our auto attacks but once you go into the fox form her auto attacks deal magic damage so you won't be using these auto attacks <coughs> very often except when clearing minion waves maybe <coughs> You are only ever going to be needing the enhanced auto attack from her first ability in fox form which we'll get into later. So this is the passive of Liliana. Now let's talk about her first ability. So her first ability is her main damage dealing ability. It is a very ranged and huge area of damage. It's just pure damage. So it is her main poking ability which uh, while laning. So if the minions are coming you can just stand here and try to hit the minions and the enemy uh, mage so that you can poke them and Liliana has a lot of range so see this much range most of the mages don't have this much range except maybe Crixie and a few others so you can poke them and they cannot attack you so this gives you a lot of advantage in the lane because you will be constantly annoying the enemies uh, these background noises <coughs> Yeah, but nothing can be done um, yeah so I am at the final year of college guys and uh, I have college till June 19th so after that I'll be completing my master of arts degree in English literature and then I'll be at home and uh, then I'll be able to make consistent videos like regular videos daily so yeah uh, coming back to her first ability so it is her main damage dealing ability and uh, there is one more catch to the ability if your first ability hits two enemies uh, you will get the symbol of the first ability in the bottom 
So what that symbol indicates is that after you hit two enemies with your first ability all your auto attacks gets enhanced. So your auto attacks will deal additional magic damage equal to 5% of the enemy's maximum HP. So it's basically true damage. So no matter who the uh, enemy is you will deal magic damage to them based on the amount of HP they have. So if it's a tank you will be dealing devastating amounts of magic damage. If it is a marksman you will again be dealing devastating damage to them but based on their HP. So for example Yon has if let's just say that uh, you are attacking Yon and he has 1000 max HP. So your auto attacks will, en will get enhanced to deal 50 more uh, magic damage to Yon because his maximum HP is 1000 and 5 percentage of 1000 is 50 so you will be able to deal 50 more additional damage to Yon but if you are attacking uh, let's just say a Scud as you know Scud has a lot of HP like 20,000 HP so if you use your uh, first ability on two enemies and then jump in and attack Scud with your auto attacks uh, you will be dealing uh, weak at math yeah, I think it's 1000. Yeah, you will be dealing 1000 additional magic damage to Scud for each of your auto attacks. So your damage is based on the enemy hero. So the main thing you need to know is land your first ability on two enemies. Just wait for two enemies to come close and then use your first ability on both of them. And then your auto attacks will get enhanced to deal much more damage. So a lot of people don't know this and this is the most important thing about Liliana according to me and that is use your first ability on two enemies and then jump in and deal devastating amounts of damage to the enemies and pair it up with apocalypse to enhance your auto attacks and you will just one shot the enemies. <coughs> so in the fox form, let's just talk about the fox form's first ability now. So the fox form's first ability is not ranged, it's uh, melee. Uh, she swipes with the tail and attacks and then her next auto attacks get enhanced and uh, It will have more range and she will jump on the enemy and scratch them. So Her range gets increased. So otherwise see her range is very small. So this is the attack range of Liliana But once she uses her first ability her attack range becomes bigger So you can do it as a combo with your first ability which I will explain later in the video when we talk about the advanced tips for Liliana. Now let's go over to the second ability of Liliana. So Liliana's second ability is she fires a missile which uh, blows up when it gets into contact with an enemy and stuns the enemy and all the targets in the range for one second. So it's the only stun that Liliana has. She is not very good at the crowd control department. So this is the only stun Liliana has, her fox form doesn't have any stuns. But this stun is pretty much enough because it is an area stun which stuns all the enemies that comes into contact with for one second. And in her fox form, her ability is called uh, Vixeny Hop. It used to be called the Leap of the Fox and I used to love it a lot. But now they have changed the name to Vixeny Hop. So that is, it is a very long dash as you can see. Liliana jumps and uh, attacks with her uh, nails so what is that nails or it has some other name I guess so uh, forgive me if I am wrong uh, class yeah Liliana jumps and attacks with her class so it's a jump ability you can use it to go across walls you can use it to escape but mostly the main thing about this ability is if you jump and hit an enemy hero there is another form for that ability so as you can see the ability uh, so this is the ability normally but if you land the ability on an enemy hero you will unlock this ability and that is the Reki shot uh, you will observe like in Naruto there is this nine tailed this tailed beast that use uh, beast bomb right so it's that concept I guess so if you jump in and get this uh, unlock this next ability and then you can send this missile which will follow the enemy it's like a heat seeker uh, it will follow uh, the enemy wherever they go for like five seconds and if they manage to run away they'll escape but uh, if they get stunned or if they are very slow and they are not able to run away it deals devastating amounts of damage guys so this is 
one of the most damage dealing abilities in the entire game see 1500 magic damage uh, just with the uh, boomstick in our build so yeah this is the second ability of liliana in the fox form so now let's talk about the third ability so liliana's third ability is shape shift and uh, she will turn into the fox she will go into fox form if you use uh, your third ability when you are in the human form and when you are in the fox form you can use it to turn into a human so in both the cases it is a dash ability it can be used to go through walls uh, in human form and also in the fox form and uh, when you are going into the fox form you dash forward and if you hit an enemy you will stun uh, you will uh, make their movement speed get reduced by 30% for the next 2 seconds so if you land if you manage to hit an enemy with your ability while dashing like this their movement speed will get reduced by 30% and uh, once you jump into the fox form leliana gets some bonus stats and that is her uh, armor and magic defense uh, increases so let's just see the numbers hmm i think the numbers are not written here yeah but uh, she has, uh, she gains some armor and magic defense as soon as uh, she enters into the fox form and when she enters into the human form again she gains additional ability power so your abilities will deal more damage as soon as you re return from the fox form to the human form one more very important thing that you should know about her ultimate is that whenever she changes form she is immune and she is untargetable she is immune to damage so you can use it to dodge uh, like tower shots or abilities and stuff i will demonstrate to you now see uh like it's see i didn't take any damage oh here we took damage so it's just a split second of uh, immunity from everything yeah we managed to do that so you can actually dodge uh, shots if you change your form at the perfect time because she is untargetable so yeah this is this comes in handy uh, when you are playing against uh, like tulan so if you are at very low hp and tulan uses his ultimate on you wait for the perfect moment and then use your third ability to dodge that damage sure 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 yeah so it's eight abilities overall for liliana and that makes her the best mage because once uh, you enter a fight you can keep dealing damage continuously so there are no other mages who can do that usually mages just use their abilities and they have to wait but liliana has crap ton of abilities that she can just jump in and keep using them all day and dealing damage so that makes her exceptionally good as a mage So guys this is the basic combo of Liliana the full combo is S2 S1 fox form fox form S1 auto attack and then S2 yeah so that is the perfect combo and we were able to just one shot then uh yeah she can one shot then because he just has one auto uh, magic defense that won't be enough to take damage from Liliana So I'll do the combo once again for you guys. S2 S1 Fox Form Fox Form Auto Attack Auto Attack Jump Back and then Reki Shot and then finish. So yeah, let's do that on Tane again. So it's going to be S2 S1 Ultimate Auto Attack S2 Jump Back Reki Shot and as soon as the Reki Shot connects, yeah, boom. So yeah this is the basic combo guys remember the sequence i'll do that once again for you guys So yeah this is the combo So guys now let's talk about the build for Liliana and this is the build that i use Usually i won't use enchanted kicks 
uh, it helps me deal more damage in the early game but uh, if there are a lot of crowd control in, there is a lot of crowd control in the enemy team for example lumber thane um, illumia heroes like that who who have a lot of crowd control i never use uh, enchanted kicks i instead go for gilded griefs because i have to jump in and attack so if i get stunned it is going to be really bad for me so i use gilded griefs instead and the main uh, most important poking equipment for liliana is going to be boomstick and if you don't bo use boomstick on liliana you are just wasting your life because uh, her first ability works very well with boomstick you will be able to poke them and boomstick will deal additional damage to the enemies right so it uh, has very good synergy with liliana's abilities and then the apocalypse so apocalypse increases the auto attack damage so apocalypse comes in handy when you jump in and try to finish the enemies like an assassin so as you guys know if you use liliana's first abilities ability on two enemies your auto attacks will get enhanced to deal 5% uh, of the target's max hp right and apocalypse also enhances your auto attacks so as a combo you will be able to obliterate them in one second if you have apocalypse in your build so the combo is uh, use your first ability on two enemies and then jump in your fox form and that uh, scratching attack right uh, the enhanced uh, first ability attack on the fox form it will just one shot any heroes if you have apocalypse it doesn't matter if they are tanks or warriors or whatever they'll just get one shot if you have apocalypse and then hecate stadium the most important item which has to be found in every single mages arsenal because it gives them 25% ability 35% ability power along with the 240 ability power which is key and the most damage dealing <laughs> magic item which has to be found in every single mages build and then staff of null to counter uh, enemy magic defense so if uh, you are dealing more damage they'll be buying medallion of troy and gaia standard these equipments give magic defense to counter you but you can use staff of null to pierce through their magic defense and deal more damage to them and then finally holy of holies so 400 whopping ability power and uh, it also increases your maximum hp by 1400 which comes in handy because yeah you will be playing you will be jumping in and attacking with leliana and having that slight 1400 more max hp will increase your survivability by a lot so this is the build for leliana oh i almost died Yeah so Okay now let's move on to the combos and advanced tips guys The first tip that I'm going to give you for Liliana is play aggressively Please don't just stand and just throw your abilities like this and then whenever someone comes just use these and run away <laughs> You will be wasting uh you you're not using Liliana to her potential if you do that I've seen a lot of people they just stand like this poke the enemy and when the enemy tries to attack them just run and then wait 3 seconds then use her ultimate again and then come back so now round 2 and run away like a coward so don't do that guys it really hurts me to see people play leliana like that because she has to jump in she is not meant to run away okay so now let me talk about the combos so the general poking combo of leliana is always walk with your second ability out like this so whenever you see an enemy immediately use your first and second in quick succession like how i did there it's like this so as soon as the enemy comes use your second and then immediately pull your first and both of them will connect at the same time see that's the poking combo of uh, liliana and in the late game you will be dealing like 60% to 70% of the ma a uh, total life of marksman and mages if you manage to connect these two abilities so that is how much damage liliana deals and uh, yeah so that is the poking combo and the diving combo is going to be a bit different and i will explain about that with uh, uh, clips from recorded gameplay 
So now I'm going to teach you how to engage with Liliana. See, the three enemies are here. I am in a human form. I use both of my abilities. Land my first ability on two enemies and then jump in fearlessly into three enemies with my fox form. And then Ras got instantly killed. And then I used my Reki shot. And boom, another one died. And Veras tried to escape here with her flicker. I turn into the fo human form and I was able to kill her. So yeah, so how all three of them instantly got deleted right so that is how much damage we deal and as you just saw i was playing very aggressively i was not afraid to dive in and see again i use my first ability on two enemies jump in with my fox form killed airline and then jumped in used my enhanced auto attack on ras and killed ras also and then we were able to leave the tower alive and i think we also got the tower so that is the most important thing guys use your first ability on two enemies and then jump in with your fox form and use your enhanced auto attack and again this is another team fight see i am standing here watch me carefully i am waiting for the enemies to come together so that i can use my first ability on two enemies i was able to use it on grack and kriknak and then i jumped in zil comes along with me and we were able to kill all of them and i was also able to destroy the tower and thereby surviving so this is another instance where uh, we were able to solo carry with Liliana and see again uh, we are trying to push the enemy altar and Ras I know will try to defend but before he can fight I was able to instantly jump on him and kill him before he can do anything and we were able to win that match and these, ma these matches are from the tournament and this, this uh, fight see I am there P pay close attention to what I am doing the recce shot is going I use my human form over the wall and then deal that devastating damage and we were able to kill Varus and Zil was able to uh, secure the kill and again the enemies are spawning Xanis, Violet and Dio-chan are here look at me with just 20% HP left I use my first ability on two of them jumped in killed Dio-chan, killed Violet, killed Xanis and then jumped away so the core, the most important thing that you have to do is land your first ability on two enemies and then you will be able to deal this much damage. So most of the players don't know that. They don't know this fact that Liliana deals more damage if she uses her first ability on two enemies. And uh, they'll just stand together and you can just use your first ability on both of them and jump in and kill both of them instantly. And see here how much damage we deal to Grak. He is a tank. He is at 50% HP and just one combo, bam, he is dead and we were able to win that match also. And this is a clip from another match, we are at level 3, we use our first ability on 3 enemies and our auto attacks are now enhanced, I go into the fox form and see how much damage I deal for my auto attacks. See, is it like the auto attacks of a mage, usually, usually mages don't deal that much auto attack right but if you use your first ability on two enemies you will be able to deal this much auto attack damage and see this combo guys I use my recce shot it is slowly going and I turn into the human form again and I was able to stun both of them and all three of the abilities connected at the same time and dealt like a nuclear bomb type of damage see both of them got deleted and this is another clip and here Grak pulled Natalia, I jump in and instantly killed her and then Veras is at full HP, I am not afraid, I use my fox form second ability, boom 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 boom. Yeah, so that is too much damage for her to handle and again see, I use my first ability on both Alain and Natalia together so that I can get the enhanced auto attacks. And here uh, Zill and I are ready to fight, I have a lot more uh, farm than him so I should be able to kill him easily and I am in the fox form he is coming and see that auto attack damage that we dealt to him and then human form boom he is dead and then uh, my friend here is being chased by all three of them use our first ability on two jump in and see how much damage our auto attacks deal Natalia used her orb but it's not going to be of much help to her we were able to kill her anyways so these are the combos there are a lot of combos uh, that you have to explore it all depends upon the situation so the basic combo is use your first and second uh, try to use your first ability on two enemies and then jump in and you will be able to deal like see 50 percentage of hp of virus is gone and see this poke poke damage of liliana here 
and also one of the best things about Liliana is that she can clear waves in one shot uh, until level 4 so she can keep rotating very fast uh, faster than other mages because just second and first ability will be able to clear a minion wave so that's gonna be it for today's video guys I am so happy that I was finally able to bring out this video for you guys because it's been a really long time and you guys have been asking me constantly in the comment section thank you guys so much for waiting patiently and i hope that uh, this video is worth the wait and uh, i'm sure liliana is worth playing so thank you guys so much for tuning in and supporting me and if you found this video entertaining and helpful make sure to show your support by hitting the like and subscribe button and if you think i have mixed, missed something let me know in the comment section i hope you all have a really great day and i'll see you guys in the next video